I want to submit to you someone I've already shared his life with today. Is someone who's well planted in the Lord. His name, he's here. I didn't get his permission to say this, but it's Arthur Hutchins. Amen. Just, just allow me to say that. I just got a text from Marcos that the pizza's ready, so it's going to be hot when y'all get out of here. I'm serious, I did. I just want to. I didn't say Arthur was perfect, nor did I say Arthur doesn't have any flaws. But I know Arthur well enough, and I've known him long enough to be able to tell you what I know. And I can almost set my watch to know that Arthur will be in that pew right where he is right now, right about Tid, <laughs> almost every Sunday. I was shocked not to see him last Sunday, but I found out he was in Cape Canaveral doing what he's been called to do and in his profession and his dream. Amen. Arthur was in Cape Canaveral living his dreams. Launched his project up at space. It looks like the fruit is yielding and prospering. But I, I just digress because look, take a look at Arthur's beautiful family. Have you ever noticed Arthur's family? Hello? What a beautiful family he has. Come here, man. Look at his children. Well, they're in Sunday school right now, but you can look at them later. Alexander is sailing. He has a 3.8 GPA. And he's on the basketball, on the, on the, uh, basketball team at a school. Alyssa is winning debate trophies. Andrew is a coming up baller. Angela is loving wife, a producer, a publisher, a writer, a TEDx speaker, a faithful Sunday school teacher. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm not saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> just allow me to continue just for a minute. I met Arthur in our Wednesday night Bible study many, many years ago. Arthur was many times the first one through the door for every Bible study I think we did here on Wednesday night at, at, at Sherman Oaks Church. Arthur was at uh, many and most of our lay servant ministry leadership development classes. Just as an aerospace engineer, rocket scientist, with a young family, Arthur was faithful. I know that Arthur's read through the entire Bible at least once. I think he's read more than once. You can tell us, Arthur, I don't know how many times you read, but I know once and think twice at least. I, Arthur, I know, is a faithful, generous giver to God's work and to the church. He's been involved in our outreach ministries and helped make hygiene kits, been a camp counselor at Urban Kids Camp, uh, headed our trustees, he oversaw the new roof on this church. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm not saying anything. I'm just pointing. <laughs> Someone well planted. Amen. No, Arthur's not perfect. I'm sure Arthur has his struggles and challenges we don't see. I remember I used to always share, he used to always share with me his financial. He had all these school loans, and he's always on them. But he pressed through, and I think they're all paid. Now, all his school, university loans are paid, and he's blessed and living his dream. I just point him out as an example. There are others here. Hey, man, don't, 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 don't get mad because I didn't choose you. I know you. You planned it too. Hey, Dad. <laughs> I just happened to see him, and I got these Cap Cape Canaveral pictures. It just inspired me. I just wanted to see an example. There are others, but Arthur actually inspires me. I see Arthur, I say, I need to step up my game. <laughs> I see Arthur and I say, you know, give honor to whom honor is due. Amen. Is that okay? But friends, let me just close with this. Come on, Terrell. This golden acorn isn't about really Arthur. Or that your walk has to be like Arthur's walk. But God has a faithful walk. 
Let's listen to this last part. For each of us. Amen. I said God has a faithful walk for each of us. This go to Acord is about you and me and how God wants us planted for his glory. It's about our potential and the fruit God wants to bring through our lives and the blessings God wants to desire for us to have and the green leaves that won't even wither according to the psalm, psalmist. God wants what we do to prosper. And for us to be planted by the Lord for the display of his splendor. Through your innate gifts that each of you have, your talents, your purposes that God has placed in each and every one. Friends, you are golden acorn. Amen.